you die. And now for something completely different. I was given a colander as a present. Luckily, they gave me the receipt with it. I had to take it back. It had holes in it. It's 3am and it's time to shop, shop, shop. I recommend Colonel Anus's three-ply for comfort and safety. Don't go to the loo without it. From Fist Foods, the makers of Vegemite doesn't taste fishy. Leave the butter, not crusty like the others. Pecker Pepper and Dickio's comes a new product directly from the Billy factory in Little Billy Town. Wombat Pancake Mix. A unique flavour harvested downstream from the South Tasmanian Bucktooth Wombats Ablutions Area. Blended with the eggs of the sterile one-legged emu or the perfect pancake, a PP. Cholesterol free and completely taste free. Just get it at any good supermarket. Ask for it by name. Wombat Pancake Mix. I went to the annual ninja parade. I didn't see a bloody thing. From Fist Foods, the makers of Dickio's Wombalicious and Wombat Pancake Mix, urine free, comes a new breakfast cereal, Nono Bits, packed full of vitamins V and D and chlamydia free. Made from the discarded Nono Bits of the South Tasmanian short-legged bucktooth devil, Nono bits are harvested in the crusty wheat fields of South Tasmania as the short legged bucktooth devil gambles through the wheat fields. Her discarded nono bits are attached to the wheat. The South Tasmanian short legged bucktooth devil discards her nono bits every two weeks and grows new ones. The nano bits wheat pellets are then harvested and sent on to these large silos for processing. Inside these silos, specially trained men, known as nano crushers, separate the crusty bits and are ready for processing. Nono bits are delicious in a bowl of warm yogurt or cream. Reek those nono bits straight out of its box. It's the nono bits that fist food reject that makes nono bits the best. Sometimes I like to read joke books on the toilet just for shits and giggles. Sometimes I like to take all my clothes off and lay out in the lawn and let the sun bathe me. You can do that too if you like. Although the lady next door wasn't happy, it was her lawn. We interrupt these infomercials for an important news announcement. Mavis, just, Mavis, stay under the desk there. You, you stop that. Yeah. Thank you. Exploding semen cylinders have caused a massive mess at a Yarram cattle breeding facility overnight. Firefighters were called to Yarram herd services just after 3am 
following reports of a fire. The CFA spokesman said about 100 cryogenic cylinders containing cattle semen exploded in the blaze. There were quite a few explosions, said the spokesman. The ferocious blaze took 10 crews two and a half hours to contain. DNN has obtained footage of a retirement dinner that was being held on the property at the time. I'm declaring October the 1st to be club some sense into a millennial day. What do men masturbate with in the bathtub? A tugboat. What does a lizard with impotence have? A reptile dysfunction. News just in. A man has been seen at 5pm on CCTV giving a facial. Full coverage at 6. Ring, ring. Hello? This is a courtesy call as we notice you have not as yet paid your phone bill. That's correct. May I ask why? I signed up with you six months ago, is that correct? Yes, sir. Well, when the caller rang, he said after six months the phone would pay for itself. So now it's the bloody phone's turn. I'm announcing my new rap name. 69 Num Nums. What makes more bloody sense than those stupid names they come up with? Are you paying too much for your pubic wigs? CompareTheMerkin.com I'm not saying my testicles are hanging low, but my shoe salesman asks me what side do I dress on. My uncle passed away recently. Didn't even have a chance to say goodbye, which is ironic, because he drowned in a bowl of Cheerios. It's Gaza's fault. Yeah. Wow. It's a load of rubbish. What's a load of rubbish? If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, tell someone who gives a rats. This is Bigger Dick Crawford signing off. Goodbye. Ain't nobody got time for rats. <laughs>